Hello everybody, hello, my name is Paul, welcome one and all, we're back to Leisure Suit Larry 7, uh, my apologies, I've kind of forgotten what's going on in this one since the new King's Quest came out, we had to kind of concentrate our time on that one, but now we are back with a screen where we haven't actually been yet, this is the entrance to the casino, which I think we just sort of warped into before, but if you're in the atrium and you walk off to the right, you will find yourself here to the Paradise Casino. We have the little tiki heads and we have that. Yeah, of course. Now, what's really interesting, what I love about here is here is a statue of David. If you look closely, if the resolution's high enough, you can see that this is made entirely of playing Your cards. Attention, please. Bob has just won the new... And how happy we are for Bob. Now, actually, speaking of Bob, I believe that's his name. Bob Bit. Bob Bit, the sculptor, is hard at work putting the finishing touches on his masterpiece, the Venus Odice. The Paradise Casino is the proud possessor of the world's largest replica of Michelangelo's David made entirely from used playing cards. <laughs> Why does he sound so unimpressed by that? That's actually really impressive. All right. Hey, Bob. Now, look, Bob's got some stuff up there that I think we're kind of curious about, but I don't believe we can talk to him. Bob Bit is, uh, A, a play of words on uh, Lorena Bobbit, which is uh, a thing in the 90s involving penises. Look it up. Uh, and then uh, Bob Ross, I believe, with a gigantic afro. But can we talk to him? I don't think we can. Hello? E -e Excuse me? Mr. Sculptor, sir? <clears throat> I guess he's busy. Hmm, or can't hear you. Also, something you want to pay attention to are these spikes that are coming down out of the ceiling. Pay attention to those, because if you look at your map, we are here at the uh, casino entrance. But if you look directly above us, there is the uh, the poop deck, which is quite nice. But also, the horseshoes competition is right here-ish. Remember that. Now, of course, being Larry, we're here to cause as much mayhem as humanly possible. No, don't leave. Here we go. So can we take some playing cards? Do we need that? Because we can interact with David's foot. The David O. Cards is no house of cards. It's glued tightly together. Interesting. Remember that. So here's the one made out of dice. Let's take a look at her foot. I really appreciate the amount of detail he's put into this. Some of these dice are even sort of chopped in half so they have the right proportions or something. I don't know. Yeah, like this one... Wait a minute. If you were to look, so here's like a sliver of dice right here. So according to this logic, if you were to bisect a dice, the dots go all the way through. How is that even, wait, that's not even possible at all. Unless these are like dice facades. You see what I'm talking about? Maybe I'm reading a little bit too much into the uh, the structure, I, whatever. These two dice seem to be sticking out a little bit. This closer look reveals the Venus O'Dice hasn't been completely glued together yet. Hmm. Well, dice for me. Nobody will ever miss a couple of these dice. <laughs> Your tears bring me such joy, Bobbit. How you doing, buddy? Sculptor Bob <laughs> seems more than just a little distraught. He'd prefer to be alone with his shattered dreams. Um, A, why haven't you been gluing as you've been going up, you fool? <laughs> this is all that remains of Bob Bit's once proud Venus. I hope you're happy. <laughs> I have dice. I feel great about it. All right, we'll come back here because I think we can fiddle around with this toolbox so that it gives us access to the spike up here, but not yet. Not yet. We still have some things to do. <laughs> All right, now. Your attention, uh, please. Al has just drank anyone. No, of the competition. E deck will reopen. Yeah, could I get a little bean dip over here? Thanks, baby. You're great. Oh, yeah. no. All right, so that was a little bit of a clue of what we need to do to get past this one. I think we mentioned the bean dip before. So if we take a little zip over here to the kitchen, that's the ballroom. We haven't been there yet, but soon. There we go. 
Now, actually, I really wanted to show off the kitchen because I remember when I was playing this as younger, uh, all these have a little, you know, you can eat them, you can taste them, you can look at them, you can play with them, even the plate of penises, yes. And then we haven't talked to him yet at all, but let's work our way over this way because I love this room. Hey, look, Mexican cheese dip. You can't take that. And why not? Because that's nacho cheese. Oh. I'll give you that one just because I like it. Uh, let's see. Is there a option to stick our... No, let's not do that. Instead, let's just keep on looking and we'll find something else that we can stick our mighty... Okay, I'm sorry. I'll never do that again. Look at the bean dip. A large container of bean dip graces the buffet table. Whoa! Bean dip? And... It's all you can eat. If I didn't know it would be that kind of party, I would have sticked my dick. Why do I keep doing that? My apologies entirely. Yum, yum, yum. Bean dip. Mm. I love bean dip. Yes, just eat all of it. And put the spoon right back into it. Just because it's all you can eat doesn't mean you're obligated to make yourself sick. Uh, why not? Oh. I don't think anyone will even notice that we little laddie. So now we are ostensibly loaded, which means if we are a flatulence gun, he is filled up to here with fuel. So if we click on him, you can fart. That is now an option. We can do this. Um, have I tried licking the sculpture yet? <laughs> Oh, that wasn't worth it. Are you sure? Green has always been your least favorite color of meatloaf. Oh, surprisingly, eat is not an option. I can read it, or I can push it, I can kiss it, I can lick it, but I haven't been able to eat it yet. Soon fix that. Stop trying to put things in your mouth. Um, but it's edible. Well, sort of. Oh my god! No, Larry, it's not what you think. Those are slender mushrooms imported directly from the Klahani mushroom cellars of Issaquah, Washington. Oh, good. I was afraid they were turnips. <laughs> Adorable. Uh, well, we know we gotta eat those. Stop trying to put things in your mouth. Can I... dare I... dare I? You want to lick that? Delicious mushrooms. Oh, lima beans. Oh, gross. Ah, lima bean uh, curd sauce. <laughs> Paste. Paste. Uh, well, I guess I can't eat it. Can I smell it? Is that even an option? That smells a little like chicken. But they're lima beans. The PMS Bouncy is pleased to offer fresh salad every day, even when they're at sea. Oh, how do they do that? Simple. They get the greens by snipping the sheep topiary on the top deck. Oh, Greek salad. There's probably a joke in there somewhere, but I'm not getting it. Couscous. You've never tasted a cranberry banana squash couscous you didn't like. I've never tasted any. And that's the way it's going to stay. Mmm, just what you've been waiting for. Broccoli yogurt with tripe on the bottom. New from those fine people who bring you spork. Duh, I'll keep on waiting. Ah, spork. We'll come to that in a moment. Ooh, sausages, hot meat, really gets me moving. That's a special table serving hot meat. Oh, and there he is. Well, one of my favorite. I always say every single one of these characters is my favorite, but he's... Oh, we didn't find them all. Look who's cleverly painted into the background. Yeah, baby! I love it when he's close enough to animate like that. That's adorable. So the entire point here is, of course, you see this knife. We're going to need that. You know we are, but we're not going to be able to get it with this guy watching us. What? Whoa! Keep hands away. Knife shop, my knife. Use knife, make living, Joe. You no take knife. Mm. Racist stereotypes aside, this actually gets a little bit more humorous. I, I like this guy. Wang. Wang is the PMS Bouncy's chief serving boy. He is definitely not a boy, but whatever. Spork. Oh, it's got a little uh, spork. 
It's beneath the sneeze guard and contempt. Contempt? Er, content? Is that what you mean to say? Whatever. Uh, sneeze guard. Well, let's sneeze on it. That's what it's made for, right? Doing that will get you nowhere. Crap. This glass is called a sneeze guard, although you can't imagine why. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, now I get it. Adorable. Okay. It also sounds like that was recorded later, so they had to fix that. I don't know. Whatever. All right, Wang. Hello. What are you serving? We got spoke a very best. You like, okay? Pork. Yeah, that sounds good. Jesus, Mary and Joseph in a tiny canoe. Are you deep? It's spork. I heard you the first time. I'll take one serving, please. You got it, boss. No complain reader. Okie dokie. Mm, only the finest for our guests. Oh, God. Oh, God. I forgot My about that. God. What is that? Like I've been trying to tell ya, it's spork. Oh, the processed potted meat food product that tastes as fresh as home slaughtered. Just like mom used to butcher. Very good, boss. Now you go. Hey, uh, what's with the accent? I did I. I knew I couldn't keep it up. I'm Chinese, you see. But me parents were Buddhist missionaries, so I grew up in Ireland. People stare when I speak normally like this. So I found it simpler just to sound like some bad Charlie Chan impersonator. Too much talk. More people need smoke. <laughs> you see? I really feel for Wang. You know, he's just trying to fit in with what the social norms are trying to make him do. You're, you're being something you're not. Embrace it. Embrace it. Be weird. Be Irish and Chinese. Live it up, man. Dang, Wang. That spork is tasty. How about some more? Mmm, spoke good, no? Dang, Wang. <laughs> so the point is here to make him use up his entire supply of spork, and then he had to leave and get more, and then we could steal all his stuff. Now be sure not to exceed the maximum daily allowance. Those warnings are on the can for a reason, you know. My guess is it's full of sodium. Oh, God, oh no! Not enough smoke! Must get more! No touchy! No promises, Wang. It was good to see you. I don't Your think we ever see please. him again. What? There will be a testing of the PMS Bouncy's electric sail motors tonight at 1100 hours PM o'clock in the evening when it's dark. <laughs> that is all. <laughs> Cute. All right, I've forgotten a lot of these. Uh, so that also comes into play, the fact that they test the sail motors at 11 p.m. So we need a couple of things here. First thing, we're gonna take this knife. Since Wang's not looking, I may as well steal his knife. And I don't think we know why yet, but we need this lamp. This powerful heat lamp slowly blackens the outside of the spork, generating a pungent acrid stench distracting diners from the spork's normal pungent acrid stench. All right, so first thing, we can't take it as it is because it's blazing hot. Okay, but first you'd better let it cool. I wonder if we lose points by not selecting turn off first. Okay, now. In a masochistic, self-abusive sort of way, you rather enjoyed that. That sounds really unpleasant. Okay, I think we've done all the damage we need to here. So we found our little dildo friend, we ate all the spork, we got the knife, and we got the heat lamp, and we sneezed all over everything. And unfortunately, we may never see Wang again. Poor Wang. At least we get free drinks out of it. Look, it's all you can drink, and free, too. Oh, you're just saying that, so I'll drink and drink and drink, and then I'll have to go pee a lot, aren't you? Yes. Well, isn't that why you spend so long alone in the bathroom? Well, <clears throat> no. Well, at least he's honest. Uh, let's see. Other, well, let's take. Take that? No. No. Now, there's also a door back here, which we can take a look at. There are some signs near that door, and more signs on it. 
Impressive promotional announcements the size of movie posters are hung on both sides of the door. They read, Totally decadent. I was stunned. I found myself in a sensuous frenzy. An erotic ecstasy. Even better than cats. Mm. Closed to the public. Do not enter. Members only. 18 and older only. Hmm. What's going on in there? This door is locked. Hmm. I went in though. Wow. This ship has everything. Yay. All right. We got to get into the orgy room. Uh, let's see. Open, look, read. Okay. So we got to get in there. All right. And as long as we're at it, we've explored a lot. There's a few other things we can do, but we still have not been to the ballroom or let's see. Best dressed. Uh, the cook-off, I think we've been there. We haven't been to any of these rooms yet, but there's nothing we can do in them yet anyway. So let's go check out the ballroom. I'm not sure how you Your get here without please. zipping there, All but... Uh. contestants, be sure to complete the social disease pre-test on your scorecard. All right. Oh, interesting murals there. Love it. Hey, Neptune. A large sculpture of King Neptune guards the entrance to Captain Queeg's ballroom. I just noticed he was on his throne. I don't think he actually does anything. He's just there for show, but nice touch. There's the stage door, but we don't have to use that just yet. Let's go into the ballroom proper and meet... What's-her-face? Uh, her. Oh, wow. What was her name? Um, get your tongue off the glass, you crotchless wonder. Hey! Yeah, baby! Running down the runway. All right, um, not do me more, uh, oh, what is she a pun of? I gotta remember before I go, um, Jamie Lee, yeah, Jamie Lee Kurt, Jamie Lee Coitus. Yeah, that's her name, Coitus as in sex. Yeah, let's take a look around. She's just a sculpture, but you could learn to love her just the same. I'm also noticing that when people, it's all blurry, so you can't see it, of course, but I noticed that when men swing down, it's like they're penises are cropped out like they have their crotchless their Ken dolls but when the women come down they are fully fleshed out with uh, well everything seems a little bit bizarre except for that guy she definitely anyway hello Jamie Lee beautiful woman hello a gorgeous woman sits before a drafting table the floor around her littered with the discards of hours of work she looks troubled anguished distraught I'd say she needs a good man Mm, too bad there's not any around. Hello there, beautiful. What's a mermaid like you doing here in this Atlantis city? Get out! This is a private area. I've rented this ballroom for the entire cruise, and I certainly don't want anyone to see moi near anyone dressed like Vu. Oh, French, huh? I so enjoy the French way. Uh, yeah, I bet you do. Still, I'm having no luck here. Maybe a few minutes of inane distraction with this imbecile will stop my creative juices flowing again. Je suis Jamie Lee, the famous hot couture fashion designer. Not Jamie Lee Coitus, former leggy supermodel? We, oui, I was, and still am quite leggy. <laughs> and who are you? Larry? <laughs> Larry Laffer? You've probably heard of me, too, huh? No. All right, that is so obviously Mary Bergman, but I love it. Let's take a look at her table over here, because you'll notice that there's a little bit of me here. But it looks so much different than any other Larry iteration I've ever seen. And then there's the picture that's on the um, uh, the about screen, which I thought was kind of cute. So there's a couple of things we can do with Jamie. Uh, she's stuck in a rut because she can't find the next big design. Well, I'll let her talk about it. Oh. You look distraught. What are you working on? Distraught? I'm bugging! I was gonna use this friggin' cruise to show off my new spring line to the world fashion press. I even paid their way along with us. But now I just learned my arch rival, that bastard Calvin Crone, scooped me. He pirated my entire spring line, waited till we sailed, then showed it to the press as his spring line. He can't do that. Ha! Tell him that. But what in the hell am I supposed to do? 
My whole line will be laughed at. I gave it my all, and now it'll be called derivative. I gotta show something before we dock, but I'm beaten all out of inspiration. Oh, well, I wish there was something I could do to help you. Before we go down her entire conversation tree, let me back out and I'll show you the one Easter egg we can do with her, which I can't show you much of, but it exists. Well, I'm off, Jamie Lee. Tell me something I didn't know. Oh, zing. I don't know how you're supposed to figure this out on your own, but if you click on Jamie and then, whoops, and then you do other and then dream, this happens. Say magnafit. Yep. <laughs> and that's it. That's it. She just takes off her top. She says, yep, that's great. And then that's it. So in a way, Jamie Lee, I think, is one of the few girls who's able to sort of maintain her dignity throughout this entire little circus here because she doesn't actually, like, give it up. I don't even... Whatever. You know, I used to have a lamp like that hanging over my computer desk. And your point is? Oh, uh, nothing, I guess. I am so lame. Agreed. You've gone through a lot of paper. Ugh, ain't it the truth? What am I gonna do? I gotta get an idea from somewhere. All right, this is all leading to one thing. Hopefully we'll see if you can pick up on it before we get there. What's a nice girl like you doing in a dive like this? Hey, I'm earning a nice living, Larry. And what does this look like to Vu? A singles bar? Hey, I bet you could help me with this competition. One of my categories is best dressed man. Got any suggestions? Suggestions? Dress? Vu? Yeah. The leisure suit. It is a kind of awesome look, isn't it? <laughs> oh, the conversation just ends there, does it? Where are you from? I am from Jersey. So I suppose you spell your name C-U-R-T-I-S? No, why? Ugh, God's sake. The collection Calvin Clone ripped off, um, what was it like? Oh, it was feminine and sexy, kicky. You know, the perfect look for the office and out on the town. It matches the way a woman lives today. I was so totally inspired. In other words, exactly like every other designer's line. So, if there's going to be a fashion show, there's going to have to be models here, right? We. Oui. But what good will they do moi? They have nothing to wear. Say. That would be a show. <laughs> I bet modeling is just about the best career ever. Ha! It is to laugh. It sucks, Larry. That's why I'm a designer and not a model. Dig? Dig. So, would there be any chance of finagling a ticket to this fashion show of yours? Oh, no. It's strictly for the industry press. We would never allow, in public, d'ordinaire. What's your favorite fabric this season? Natural dyed and patterned cotton. Soft, flowing, kicky. How about vu? Felt. Get it? <laughs> Ugh, I no. should have guessed. I thought he would have said polyester. But if I helped you out, say, with an idea, you know, you would be grateful, right? Grateful, we. Oui. Gracious, doubtful. It would be so non-couture. I'm remembering this wrong. Wait, there is a lot that you have to do with Jamie, but I think we have everything we need to do it. So, uh, the fabrics is our clue. Um, oh, somehow she... Oh, God, I forget how we discover what we need to do. Jamie Lee, I've got a great idea. Vraiment? That means really? Let's hear it. It concerns you and me. And no clothing. Oh, yeah, like that's ever gonna happen. Well, I guess it's always worth trying. Jamie's drawing table reminds you of your high school art teacher. Yeah, but she was never that into polyester. Or me, for that matter. Dang it. Okay, well, my misremembrance is getting the better of me, so I, I know... Oh, hey! Yeah, baby! 
Well, no, sorry, he's just like, pew, gone. So I know kind of what we have to do for her, but I don't know how we figure out how old new. We'll come back to this later. But for now, we are still loaded for bear with bean dip. Okay, that was weird. Uh, we're still loaded for bear with bean dip. So let's go to the Paradise Casino and do what we know must be done. Your no, don't ask for drinks. Please. Don't talk to me. Brain no, no, stop. Thanks, anyone? Cut, cut. Yeah. All right, so here's the fun part. How do we clear a crowd? Why, bean dip, of course. Undressing would probably also do it, but also get me kicked out. Farting is legal. Oh no, not the cyber sniff. <laughs> the screaming. Wow, that bean dip is really effective. Oh, and I also love how the croupier is completely unfazed. The croupier stands there listless and bored. Perhaps you could cheer him up by losing a big wad of dough. I don't really have any money to speak of unless I can use my room credit to play. So, Jacques, what's your name? Uh, Jacques. <laughs> American asshole. He was probably just reading your name tag and not trying to be culturally insensitive? Maybe? Now, I'll admit, I have barely any idea of how to play craps at all. All I know is you roll the dice and people either cheer or lose a lot of money. The craps table is a confusing mess of different betting areas. You have no idea what they represent. Well, I guess I'll just put it all on cum. <laughs> Come. <clears throat> yeah. All right, well, at least me and Larry are on the same boat on this. We have no idea what's going on. Sure, let's play. Here's my Five Man Trophy scorecard. Charge a hundred smackers of chips to my room, will you, bub? I feel lucky. Uh, but of course, uh, sir. Oh. Put it all on cum. <laughs> With a name like that, how can I lose? Yes, sir, right away. Here are your dice. American asshole. Um, you were dealing with a bunch of American assholes here, so you must be a very, very miserable man. Now, I also remember, if I go into my inventory, there's the dice. Um, these are probably the dice I have in my hand from the craps table, and these are the dice I got from the sculpture. Souvenir dice and legal dice. This pair of white plastic dice is just like the ones used in casinos. Those are the dice from the casino, Einstein. Told ya. So what's the difference between those dice and this dice, besides them being a little bit yellow? This pair of white plastic dice is just like the ones used in casinos, except for a few little specks of glue. <laughs> little specks of glue, okay. So the, the point of here, of course, is you can never win a game straight up. You have to cheat. So if we just play the game straight up, Come on, baby needs a new pair of platform shoes. Oh. And that's it. That just happens over and over and over again. Let's go again. Another hundred on come. <clears throat> well, I mean, the come line. You know, the line of, with... <laughs> no problem. Oh, yeah. Smooth. Yankee asshole. <laughs> Yankee asshole now. Love it. All right. So now let's uh, let's go into our inventory here. And I believe we can. I, uh, you have to be, I guess, have some sort of knowledge of this, or maybe someone tells you. But there's a such thing as called shaved dice, which are illegal in casinos, where you file down some of the corners to sort of help the rolls Your land where you want. Please. Shut up. So we got the regular dice in this one here. We need something that we can shave the corners down to sort of control the bounces so they land on, I guess, 7 or 11 is the point of it. So if we use this uh, toilet paper... Well, the PMS bouncies spared no expense on their toilet paper. This stuff feels like sandpaper. About 40 grit, I would say. Mm, probably. If you look up on Wikipedia how to shave dice, 40 grit is probably what they recommend. So if we use... On the legal dice, our toilet paper. Think again. It doesn't work. But if we do it on our souvenir dice. There we go. Now we've got shaved dice. 
This pair of white plastic dice is just like the ones used in casinos, except some fool has sanded them down so they can't lose. Hey! Oh, was that you? So now I think we're equipped to win the craps tournament, which I think is one of the easier solutions, because all you need, you pick up the dice, you get the bean dip, and then that's pretty much all there is to this little puzzle. What? Save your game? Are you trying to cheat? Uh, no. I'm not. American asshole. Oh, well, my plan was to save my game and come back to this in a little bit, maybe take a break, but nope. Jacques has different plans for me. All right, well, let's keep it rolling then. Uh, let's see. Use... Uh, where is it? The shaved dice, shaved dice, shaved dice. Where is it? There they are. Shaved dice. Come on, little doggies. Ruff, ruff. Don't let me down. I love the sound of dice. And... Huzzah! Yippee! <laughs> let it ride, fella. Yeah, for a guy who doesn't know how to play craps, he sure knows the lingo. Is this really all craps is? Just rolling the dice and hoping it comes up the way you want it to? Yes! Let him build. <laughs> How come I'm not getting a cool crowd like everybody else did? Wow! Look at those stacks! Oh, there's my crowd. Oh my god! Look at those stacks! Hello, handsome. I'm Doomy Moore. Oh. Who, uh, me? I'm up here, oh. Larry. <laughs> I'm Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer. I couldn't help but notice how lucky you are tonight. Well, uh, tonight, yeah. Finally, I'm getting lucky! Yeah, you'll see what I did there. Would you like to go to my cabin for a more intimate dice game? Hubba, hubba, hope I have a rubber. Sure. What is it? Strip Liar's Dice. You do know how to play Strip Liar's Dice, don't you, Larry? Sure. No, but I'm willing to learn. Where's your cabin? It's 510. I'll go get the dice in the cups. You mean, I gotta wear a cup? Hurry, Larry. I just can't wait to up your ante. Aww. Adorable. So now, oh, How we about a drink, just Larry? like right over there. You know, I'm not really that thirsty right now. Okay, sit down. Make yourself comfortable, Larry. Great. Mind if I kick off my shoesy woozies? Um, sure. Do you know how to play strip liar's dice, Larry? No, but uh, I'm sure I'll pick it up. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> we'll play with what we've got on right now, okay? Sure. All right. Let's roll. Come on. Baby. Okay, so here is Strip Liar's Dice. I love Strip Liar's Dice. Now, can I save here? Now, the point of Strip Liar's Dice, or just Liar's Dice in general, I'm not sure if this was invented for the uh, the game, if they just made this up, or if it does actually exist. It looks stupid and complicated, and it kind of is, but it's also kind of fun. I've always actually wanted to play this dice game with- Come on, Larry. I'm just aching to see that cute butt of yours. Whoa, I never heard that one before. Anyway, we're going to get into Strip Liar's Dice in a little bit, but first we're going to take a little bit of a break, and I have to kind of remind myself what the freaking rules of Liar's Dice are. I really enjoy it. We shall play this together. But for now, I remain, as always, good night, Jelly Beans. Good night.